Sydney McLaughlin Levroni is a record-breaking track and field athlete who admits she had been running from God for years, but is no longer. The 24-year-old Olympian details her spiritual journey in her new book, Far Beyond Gold, Running from Fear to Faith, which was be released on January 30th. Redirecting where my identity was is the biggest thing. McLaughlin Levrone says in an interview with Today.com at 30 Rock in New York after her Today appearance. Mary McLaughlin attended the interview and was beaming the entire time. Her husband, Andre Levrone Jr., also attended. If I won, that was my worth, my value. If I was loved, that was my worth, my value, the hurdler says of her perspective before her awakening. But with Christ being able to redirect that to him, that being the center and focus of my identity, has helped everything else in my life fall into place as it should be, which has been a blessing that is helped on and off the track, she explains. McLaughlin Levron claims that personal development helped her overcome the very low point she experienced during the pandemic. I felt like I was running from God for years. That's when I was like, God, I surrender it to you. I don't know what this looks like. I don't know what it means. Just show me what you're trying to show me, she says. According to McLaughlin, following that breakthrough, the gospel became clear. A scripture talks about the veil being taken off of your eyes. That's what happened. It just made sense, she says, and she claims to have been winning both on and off the track since she surrendered. Uh, in 2022, she married Levron, a former NFL wide receiver who is now attending seminary school. They met after he slid into her direct messages. She told the knot and they went to Bible study together. With a time of 50 points, you see, she broke her own world record and became the 400 meter hurdles world champion and record holder the same year she married the following summer in 2023 she won the national 400 meter title in 48.75 seconds nearly breaking the american record of 48.70 she became the third u.s woman to run the 400 in under 49 seconds later that year the world record holder of the women's 400 meter hurdles sydney mclaughlin levrone announced she wasn't going to compete in budapest because of a knee injury. I am so sad to share that I must withdraw from the this year's World Championships meet in Budapest. After consulting with my doctors and coaches, I need to take care of a minor knee issue so that I can be fully healthy for next year's Paris Olympics. I look forward to seeing everyone back on the track soon, she wrote on her Instagram page. She is currently preparing for the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. <laughs> the title of her book and the stories she shares are based on 1 Peter 1 a Bible verse that talks about how our inheritance is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. It's more precious than rubies and more precious than gold. I run track by the grace of God. I'm able to win medals, but that doesn't come with you. That doesn't transfer over when this life is done. What is your security? I think being able to be in Christ and have that influence that is so much far beyond this world has to offer is the point of life, she says. The New Jersey native describes her goal in life and athletics as just growth. Huh? Every day is like a learning experience, especially being married. I say marriage is the biggest sanctification tool. Being able to just be like, okay, what in my life does not reflect Christ? I am actually selfish. I actually have certain tendencies that aren't the best for marriage. And so I think every day is just being pruned. She claims, for example, that she is excellent at pointing out flaws in her husband, but not very good at accepting correction. <laughs> For the betterment of our marriage, I have had to die to myself and humble myself in order to realize, okay, this is not working for us. How can I do a better job? The couple hopes to expand their family. We want to have children within the next few years. There is no set timeline for that, but I believe in taking each day as it comes. She said, I really want to be a mom one day, she adds. I have baby fever, but I control it very well. I love babies. We have aspirations to move back east. So I think when retirement comes, I think we'll know. When it comes to retirement, the Los Angeles resident says she has not decided yet after five years in track and field, but she knows it will happen eventually. They'll see. I obviously don't want to stay past my time, but at the same time, I want to use the gift until it's no longer time to be used, she says. I love track and field, and I think I'm going to do it the best I can for as long as I can, but it's also not my whole life. McLaughlin Lebron says she is at the point in her career where she is honing her already impressive performance. I think every year my goal is to improve upon myself. She says, I feel like you never really run a perfect race because there's always something you can improve upon. And that to me is the fascination of track. How can I get that 100th of a second to make the D? 
different. That is her goal going into the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Now that she has recovered from a knee injury she suffered at the end of last year, she says, excellent to me is just how can I get better every day? She says, what are those little things right now? It's nutrition, it's recovery, it's treatment, it's doing the exercises even when I'm tired after a long day. That to me is that little margin that makes the difference.